All right, guys, so iOS 26 will be released here in less than two weeks, and the, one of the most popular questions that I get is, what are some of the key features that would actually make a difference if I update to iOS 26? Now, I've been testing the software a little over two months now, obviously since beta 1. It's currently sitting in beta 9. RC is expected soon, but today I wanted to talk about some of the key differences that will actually you know, entice you to update from iOS 18 over to iOS 26. If you're still thinking about it, these are going to be some of the changes that I believe will actually make a difference once you install the new software. Now, obviously, there's a ton of new features and changes, the new liquid glass design, but today we're going to focus on things that actually make a difference. And I want to start off with animations, and I think people really take this for granted. With iOS 26, animations are so much faster than iOS 18. It's also smoother when you're navigating the OS, and this actually makes your iPhone feel newer, right? It makes it feel like if it was new, especially on older iPhones. So if you have like an iPhone 11, iPhone 12, iPhone 13, and you start using iOS 26, you'll quickly notice how fast animations flow within the operating system, and this makes your phone just feel entirely different. Again, I think most users underestimate this, but the animation speed and the way the OS navigates just makes the phone feel a lot better. And this, to me, is one of the key differences between iOS 18 and iOS 26. And I think once you get your hands on iOS 26, if you haven't already, you're going to notice the difference. And I think it actually makes a difference with faster animations. Now, something else I want to talk about is charging estimates. Now, this is just a minor change within iOS 26, but that actually makes a difference. So if I plug my iPhone into charge, and this works on all iPhones, by the way. So here's an iPhone 11. So if I plug this iPhone 11 to charge here, you see that once I plug it in, I can actually go ahead and wake up this device, and it will give me the charging estimates right there. You see right there, it tells me there's 38 minutes until I reach 80%, which is my charge limit that I have set. So I can now know exactly how long it will take for my iPhone to charge to 100% or 90 or 80, whatever you have set at a glance right there. And this is very important, obviously. So if you're trying to hurry up, you're in a pinch, you want to know how long it will take until your iPhone is charged, you just wake it up and you see the charging estimate. Again, something fairly simple and something that, you know, you may think it doesn't make a difference, but after months of testing iOS 26, this has definitely made a difference to me within the new iPhones and the older iPhones as well. As I mentioned, it is available on all models that support iOS 26. Now, another great feature built into iOS 26 that in my opinion over the past several months has made a huge difference is an anti-spam calling feature built into iOS 26 and the new phone application. So if we go into manage filters here for iOS 26, there's this new option available right here, ask reason for calling. So your iPhone will actually ask unknown numbers Numbers, their name and their reason for calling before you even pick up your phone or before it even rings and that way you can avoid a lot of spam calls and save a lot of times I love this feature I always used it ever since Apple made it available within iOS 26 and again this is one of those features that help you save time and actually help you stay safe so you don't fall victim of scam and things like that so I really love that one now something else that I really love is visual intelligence so on your screen you can take a screenshot of whatever it is and you have the option to ask or actually highlight or search anything on the screen. So for example, if I highlight this icon here, it will give me Google search results based on what I highlighted. So if you see, I don't know, a pair of jeans or a jacket or perhaps some shoes, you can actually swipe up after you highlight whatever it is on the screenshot and it will give you results based on what you highlighted. This is on-screen visual intelligence. Again, one of the great features built into iOS 26, in my opinion, that really make a difference. Now I have two additional changes that to me have made a difference after using iOS 26 for several months. The first one is going to take some time to get used to because now you have a search bar at the bottom of settings you have a search bar at the bottom of messages and it just allows you to search these applications rather quickly and very accessible at the bottom of the screen of your iPhone and this has saved me a lot of time when navigating the OS just looking for things in settings or perhaps a message inside of messages and things like that so that's a minor change that I think some users will have to take some time to kind of get used to because that wasn't there before but once you get used to it it is very very useful and convenient to have now another thing that I really find very very useful 
is a new option under battery and power mode called adaptive power. So as you can see right here, adaptive power, when your battery usage is higher than usual, your iPhone can extend your battery life by making performance adjustments such as lowering display brightness, allowing some activities to take longer in the background, or even enable low power mode at 20% for you. So this actually pauses things in the background, perhaps if any data is being synced over the cloud or any apps are being downloaded but your battery is low, this new adaptive power feature allows you to sort of pause those things in the background automatically to save battery life on your iPhone and you don't manually have to go through your iPhone or go into low power mode all day in order to extend the battery life. This would actually do it for you. And I found that this feature extend the battery life of my iPhone quite a bit over the past two to three betas. Now keep in mind that the RC will most likely become available in just a couple of days on September the 9th after the iPhone 17 event announcement and the official release of iOS 26 will most likely happen on Monday, September the 15th, but I'll keep you guys posted. These are just some of the minor changes within the OS, in my opinion, that actually make a difference. And if you're looking to update, these are gonna make your user experience so much better. Thank you for watching this quick one. I just wanted to answer this question based on my experience using the OS for several months. Have a great day. Have a great weekend, guys, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.